Thank you so much. And um, thank you for the opportunity to present today. Um, so yeah, we're the first uh, company representing the SMEs that we've touched upon today. And um, yeah, I will be the first one out. Uh, it feels like we aren't doing our job as a startup if we didn't pitch something. So we start off with a little pitch um, and then um, uh, Fabian um, will be able to describe the technical details much better than, than I can. Uh, and we'll also describe more about the project um, as Lilith mentioned. So we usually like to start off using an analogy uh, like this, and it might be kicking in open doors, but uh, this is certainly taken before my time, at least, um, a design room um, doing engineering uh, design um, before the uh, usage of computers and CAD tools. And of course, today we can't uh, imagine a time before using CAD tools to perform most of those tasks. In the same way, however, material development and creating new um, material products has often used this method of lab testings and experimental methods and um, a lot of trial and error based lab tests. Until now, that is, because we are Complar and we bring uh, material development into the digital era. And as I will touch upon, it's not this simple. Experiments will also be needed, but you get our point. We'll try to really make a change here. So traditionally, material development has been characterized by a lot of um, unproductive and trial and error based lab processes. And the problem with this approach is that it's time consuming. It's leading to longer time to reach innovative and sought after material uh, properties. And it's costly, both for salaries and equipment and materials and so on. And lastly, it consists of those certain processes which basically leaves innovations up to chance. We think that we have a better approach. So with Complar, we put the lab in the computer and enable companies to screen and optimize materials and simulations uh, or using simulations and uh, analysis. So leveraging the capabilities of HPC resources, our software can be used to predict material properties as a function of their chemical composition. As every company has different goals and different parameters that are important for them, it's of utmost importance to also be flexible and um, um, being able to um, offer analysis for very different type of uh, analysis. This could be everything from conductivity, heat capacity, diffusivity, and, and so on. And our goal is to bring this functionality together using a streamlined workflow and a intuitive software. And we mainly base our methods on molecular dynamics, which Fabian will touch more upon shortly. And this all boils down to, well, kind of the opposite uh, of uh, the problems, uh, which is the, a higher chance of bringing forth compounds that leads to the intended material properties. It's reaching better results using fewer resources and fewer labor hours, and being able to create better performing products, which wouldn't be possible without using advanced modeling. Our initial market segment is the fast growing battery industry, where the need for innovation is greater than ever. And uh, I think Matteo had a similar slide about the uh, expected demand in, uh, in uh, energy storage solutions. Of course, this, these are guesses, but uh, most of us agree that, well, we need more batteries uh, in the future and we need better batteries. And uh, our, um, uh, we really think that better materials is the cornerstone for better batteries. And uh, with this said, our method and our software can be used in, for basically any type of material. So we see great expansion, um, expansion opportunities in the future as well, such as those listed to the, to the right here. 
So we are a quite small team, uh, consisting of around 10 people right now, um, with a balance between both technical and uh, business-driven persons. Um, and uh, a lot of focus, of course, now in the beginning on really proving that our technology works and that it brings value. So um, with that said, I think I leave it to you, Fabian, to describe more about the team. Yes, thank you. And this seems to work, so perfect. So now on to what Compler actually does uh, that makes us unique. Uh, I'll base this part uh, of the talk heavily on the proof of concept paper published at uh, Patrick Johansson's uh, research group at Chalmers. And uh, Patrick asked me to thank Vinova and uh, the Swedish Research Council and everyone who has uh, enabled this fundamental research part done at Chalmers a couple of years ago. Uh, yes, uh, the paper is called Ion Transport Mechanisms via Time Dependent Local Structures and Dynamics in Highly Concentrated Electrolytes. Uh, as Emma said, we're basing most of what we do on a method called Molecular Dynamics, or MD for short. Uh, this slide shows uh, some uh, of the material properties uh, which we're able to calculate based on infinite opportunities. And even though MD is a well-established method in academia, being awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 2013, the adaptation has been limited uh, in industry due to high levels of expertise needed uh, to run accurate simulations. You basically need Matteo to be able to do something productive. Uh, and the obscure connection of how it connects to the real world in the mind of many uh, engineers. So uh, let me briefly explain what makes our approach to this uh, to, to MD unique. It starts with identifying uh, bonded pairs of atoms. And then we create uh, trajectories and detect uh, bonds over time. Uh, this leads to a time-dependent bond topology, uh, which, when combined with statistical physics, uh, concludes the, the properties I showed in the previous slide. So we were able to, to calculate those uh, way more effectively. And hence, we are uniquely qualified to explain what structures form in a simulation. Uh, uh, one example which can be seen here, uh, where we rank the most common structures forming around the lithium ion in a semi-simple and well-studied battery electrolyte. Uh, uh, lithium TFSI and acetonitrile, uh, to be more specifically. Uh, and we can also quantify this distribution as seen here in the, the bar charts. Uh, with values that uh, coincide well with the experimental literature values. Uh, what also makes us unique is our ability to uh, uh, describe and quantify changes of the structure, uh, which for battery electrolytes uh, correspond to structural transport of charge. And here we see the most important lithium ion transport mechanisms ranked in order for this simulation. And from this knowledge, of structural change, we can produce results such as this, comparing the different structural changes quantitatively. So in summary, uh, we have a unique method enabling bond graph topology detection. Uh, we produce both experimentally comparable results and deeper understandings of the simulations. And we are able to cut down on labor intensive manual work in favor of computational methods. So, how does this all relate to why I'm here on stage today with, together with Emil? The main reason we are here today is because uh, our ongoing project in the FF4 Europe HPC project, which has received funding from the European HPC joint undertaking. Uh, the experiment with the title Molecular Dynamics, Simulations and Analysis for Improved Material Development pretty much sums up what we do in the project. Uh, showcasing the possible uh, possibilities uh, that high-performance computing models bring to the battery space uh, using molecular dynamics and validating it with experimental data. But more about that in a moment. So we, as in Complar, are the coordinating uh, and main contributor uh, to the experiment. Uh, and we will develop and demonstrate the capabilities of HPC-based MD simulations and trajectory analysis 
by leveraging our available simulation softwares, uh, but especially our proprietary modeling software. And in order to have something to demonstrate with, uh, we're happy to join forces with uh, Enerpoly being a KTH spin-out. Uh, in this experiment, uh, they participate as the manufacturing and user company. Uh, and Enerpoly develops uh, groundbreaking zinc ion battery solutions, uh, which lead to better performing uh, uh, and safer and more affordable batteries, uh, especially for uh, power grid storage. And then we have Chalmers Industry Technique uh, providing uh, academic expertise uh, as well as uh, commercial and business development value. And lastly, ENCCS, the Lithia, for example, uh, com contributing kind, uh, especially with support about how to optimize HPC resources and uh, what we HPC resources are suitable for this experiment. So thank you for that. Uh, the electrification trends we see all over the world, uh, especially due to the political landscape, makes the need for batteries better, or for better batteries and energy storage solutions greater than ever. And at its core, better batteries are dependent on better materials and processes. Uh, so this is the core of conducting this experiment, accelerating the development of better batteries and energy storage solutions using digital tools and HPC capabilities, uh, while also strengthening European innovation and competitiveness in this highly relevant field. The approach for this experiment is to perform a multivariable screening of uh, Enerpolis electrolytes. Um, and we will conduct several studies outlining parameters connected to conductivity, ion aggregation, viscosity, Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Uh, the goal is to provide technical and commercial benefits of computational screenings and using MD solutions, in addition to experimental testing. As Enerpoly has been heavily involved in uh, the scoping and, uh, and the test suites uh, in their developmental efforts, the end results of this uh, project will hopefully also be better uh, sync ion batteries for uh, grid storage. And having uh, conducting roughly half of the project time, we have mostly focused on understanding and building the analysis routines needed. Uh, uh, study the scope and what enabling softwares would bring Enapoli the most value. And we have, according to plan, just started running MD simulations uh, on the HPC cluster Carolina, mentioned before, uh, using suitable uh, methods. Uh, all of the specific results we have to date are unfortunately confidential uh, at, for the time being. We're happy that the first initial studies uh, relating to diffusion coefficients uh, compare really well to uh, to what is expected from literature studies. Uh, and in the upcoming months, uh, the most interesting uh, results will be produced, uh, where the most promising compositions based on those studies will then be uh, uh, studied by Enderpoly in the lab, where we will compare the results. And with that, uh, thank you for listening. Uh, if you get any ideas on how we might collaborate and find uh, joint synergies in the future, Please don't feel shy to uh, send us an email, give us a call, or just talk with us uh, during coffee breaks. Uh, you can find all our uh, contact information here at complotech.com. And then finally, what are your questions?